I finally ordered something in the mail today that might be of interest for a lot of people on this channel and also people that are just watching this brand new. We we're trying to diagnose something on my friend's car in terms of electrical wise. I think we're pretty close. We want also something else to just, you know, test the entire car system. You already know what the title of this video is, so you know what I'm talking about. Let's just jump in. Let's get straight into this video. Hey guys, go get your make more videos again and today guys I got this full system car scanner for you guys to test out This should be the holy grail of car scanners in terms of price and also the features it has so without further ado Let's get to it so I see two boxes came in the mail today. Uh, one had this guy right here, a, a air compressor. Relatively cheap, 12 volt air compressor. You guys have seen me do videos on this all the time. It, this time my friend, he loves playing any kind of sports, mainly basketball, just like me. And he asked me to find a air compressor for him that can you know, pump his balls and also maybe do something else. And I was like, why not get an air compressor that can inflate the basketballs and also inflate your tires in case of an emergency. And he was like, you know what? That sounds a good idea. So I ordered a relatively cheap one, but the reason why I ordered this one is because they came with these tire valve covers that look awesome. They're very simple, very plain, very heavy. They're fully metal and they have this nice color finish to it. That's why I got it. Looks awesome. I just put those bad boys in my car right now. I was like, you know what? You're keeping this. I'm letting you have this, but I'm definitely going to keep the tire valve covers, guys. This is how it looks when you take it out the box. Very relatively simple, uh, you know, design, digital, compact, has a little adapter right there to plug into your actual tire and also has a 12 volt car charging port plug to plug it in when you're on the go. Perfect solution to your tire problems just in case. All right, put it back in the box. Links are gonna be in the description. Let's put it down to the side. Now let's go check out what we're really here for. Let's see what the secret box right here has to offer. So an actual full system car scanner comes in the box like this. It says Outech on it. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not too sure. But what really matters is what's actually inside this box right here. So let's give it an open. Let's see what it is. Now this is not going to be like the relatively cheap car scanner guys. Okay. This is going to be a little bit more expensive kind. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me for something a little bit better than the stuff that I have showed. And I totally understand that. And this is a perfect time to, you know, show it to you because I'm getting it for a particular reason. And I want to show you guys anyway. So let's see what it is all about. So here we have the actual packaging. We have taken it out of the actual cardboard box itself. And now let's uh, let's remove this little cover. Alrighty, there we have it. And oh man, immediately you're, you're greeted with this nice, soft casing. Very nice. I like this. I'm buying an expensive product. I want to have a nice case like this. Very nice and soft to the touch. Definitely has a little handle right here, and obviously a zipper. Let's unzip this bad boy and see the holy grail for the first time. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness yo check this out the camera does not do justice as how huge this device is guys absolutely what i'm looking for like i said it is not completely insanely expensive like a thousand dollars or something but for what you're going to be getting i hope i've read the reviews i've seen the description for what you're going to be getting this price was actually not that shabby oh by the way nice rubber feel right here plexiglass kind of going on right here these buttons are solid nice let's uh let's oh my gosh relatively lightweight okay i thought this was going to be a lot heavier very nice weight to it not too bad not too shabby it's got a port back here and also power and usb port back there so nice not bad let me take this off already because this is bothering me uh tremendously i know some people might leave that on but i am a guy that definitely takes these plastic things off oh my gosh look at that Oh, very, very beautiful. I have to say, guys, let's put that down to the side. Okay, so uh, nothing else in here. I'm going to put this back in here for a quick second as we take a look at the literature. Here is the actual literature right here, user manual, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, it's going to have a nice screen on it. And like I said, guys, the links to this bad boy is going to be in the description below. You know, you're going to get a lot more uh, information in terms of the specifications and stuff. As you can see, here's a little clip of the specifications. If you want to hit pause, uh, check it out. Provides a car diagnostic based on different areas of the car. 
This is an OBD2 protocol right here. Uh, and it's also multi languages. I'm going to be sticking to English. I love this literature, guys. This is like one of my favorite literatures for a hefty device like this. You guys already know it would have been like freaking like a big thick of literature, a book of literature, but no, it's, it's very easy to use. So yeah, so you set your favorite car maker, select the live data during the car testing. You can update the software and here's the steps that you can do it. I haven't done too much going through literatures before, but this was such a beautiful literature. I was like, you know what? I got to check it out. I got to show it to you guys. And I've said literature too many times. Let's put this down to the side. All right, let's get to the other accessories right here. Plugs and ports and stuff. All the little goodies needed for whatever situation you are in. Let's go. Oh, yes. The packaging is on point right here, guys. I have to say. Nice USB port right here to plug into your computer. Obviously, we're not going to be using that right now because we might not even require that. But if you want to update it, obviously, you will require that. They give you actually two different ports right here. OBD2 and the Citrogen 16C right here. Um, let me actually kind of see what the difference is. I've never seen this one before. It's uh, it looks fairly identical, but you know, in my case, I'm going to be sticking to the OBD2 16 right here. So obviously you plug this bad boy in here into this guy right here, like so plug it in, make sure it's tight. And then we're going to screw this guy on. So we're going to screw this guy on like here too. Seems like there's going to be a very long cable. I like that. I want to make sure that, you know what I mean? The cable is going to be long. As you can see, it's a pretty decently long cable. If you have a OBD2 port that's deep inside your vehicle, this will come in very handy. So let's plug this this guy into the back right here there we have it we have plugged it into the back as well this is looking absolutely beautiful guys like a professional device so let's go plug into my car let's see how this guy actually works and let's get to it all right so one thing i love about the genesis obviously i'm going to be doing this on a genesis one thing i love about the genesis is the fact that the obd2 uh port is like right here i know in the honda court and many other cars port ends up being like all the way at the bottom underneath this guy but in this car uh underneath here everything's like covered it's not you know nothing is exposed so they have to put it right here which is perfectly fine with me because all you do is pull this bad boy out and look at that the port is right there obviously you have all these fuses of here as well makes it very easy you know what i mean i like that i love that so let's go ahead plug it into the actual obd2 port right here let's see how this goes gosh i love how the wire is so long it's awesome here we go just nice and easy already this thing is firing up guys look at this hold on let me show you oh look at that guys already fired up ready to do its thing so as you can see guys really nice little uh display right here color lcd you got your diagnostics favorites obd2 version 3 and settings and about right here let's go to diagnostics right here and this vehicle is actually an asian vehicle so we're going to click on that we're, and then we're going to click on uh the the vehicle that we have there we go hyundai we're going to click enter it's going to be loading right there and then we're going to go down to genesis oh my god there's so many vehicles that hyundai makes there we go guys so we have the genesis pop up right here now in my case there's two different genesis okay in most uh vehicles there's not going to be two different genesis this obviously is a genesis coupe which is not my vehicle mine is a four-door genesis but this right here are the two genesis now my genesis is the dh version um you know the other ones is going to be the bh we're going to click on 2015 right here uh as you can see i'm going to hit 2015 press enter and i'm using these pads right here. it's very easy to use no lag whatsoever I'm liking it, so I'm going to hit 2015, press OK. There we go. And then, obviously, we're going to hit the 3.8 GDI. And then, there you have it. You have all these different options that pop up. Let me just click on Auto Headlamp uh, Leveling System because, you know, LEDs. Now, before we actually, you know, now what it's going to probably do, tell me, is make sure the car is on on, okay? As you can see, yeah, look at that. See, it says ignition of the car. Uh, make sure that the ignition of the car is on. The diagnostic con connection is okay. And the ECU to be scanned is installed the car two and three are good number one like i said we have to do that so what i'm going to do is put it on the on position let's let me open my garage fully okay my garage door is completely fully open we're going to hit the brake and we're going to push the on button look at that beautiful okay so now that the vehicle is actually on let's go hit okay on this auto headlamp leveling system there we go and what we're going to do is go to reading fault codes as you can see they're reading fault codes right there and reading current fault codes, there we go. And as you can see, it's gonna say no DTC. Why? Because there's no codes on the system regarding uh, my actual headlamp. Yeah, and we're gonna get back and we're gonna push okay. Now let's get back onto actual, uh, maybe the air conditioner right here. We're gonna hit the air conditioner, 
connecting ECU. We're gonna be reading fault codes once again. Number one, there we go. As you can see, no DTC right there, and there's no codes on here. You know, this is expected. This is my car. Uh, it doesn't have any codes on there, so I'm expecting this. Now, if you did have codes on here when you clicked into one of these guys' air engine control or maybe even active air flap or something, airbag, uh, and it does have a code, then you know that you have a problem in that system, guys. But as you can see, there's so many things, smart key unit, and the best part is you, you can update this with your computer and get the latest firmware, guys. That's awesome as well. So let's go back to the actual main menu right here. So that's one thing you can use with this. Now we'll go into the actual um, OBD2 version 3.0 right there. We're gonna hit OK. And the car is already on, guys, so it's gonna be loading right now and initializing. There we go, and we're gonna go down to Hyundai right here. And as you can see, guys, you can read your current trouble codes right here, up here. You can clear trouble codes, you can read current data, you can read pending trouble codes, you can read freeze frame data, you can read the readiness test, onboard monitoring test, and uh, it's it's really, really awesome. I'm gonna go like, say for instance, for onboard monitoring test right here. Obviously, there's a lot of things you can do. I'm just gonna hit the oxygen sensor monitor bank one, sensor one right here, and we're gonna go to a standardized test, low sensor voltage for switch time calculation. As you can see, it's passed. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with my vehicle. Rich to lean sensor switch which time calculated let's go to that as you can see these are the actual data points that it spits out and depending on what you're trying to do with your vehicle this can give you a lot of data now now not to make this a long and boring video going to every single thing I just wanted to give you an idea of what this thing does it is definitely not a cheap just figure out the codes in your vehicle kind of car scanner it's a full car scanner obviously I'm gonna be playing around with this a lot more figuring out different things the links to check this out guys is gonna be in the description below i just wanted to introduce you to this product right here really nice beautiful product uh it is a little bit heavy duty and a little bit pricey compared to the things i've reviewed in the past but that's because obviously you can see it goes into a lot more detail than the stuff in the past so like i said links are going to be in the description below i am absolutely loving this thing i'm going to be playing with this thing a lot more and i know you will love it so in the end, it's a pretty cool and neat device. I didn't want to make this a long and drawn out video making every little detail about this product right here, but you know, just to give you an introduction to something that you might like in terms of car scanning tool products. Like I said, links to this bad boy is going to be in the description below. Make sure you check out the details. Make sure you check out the reviews and see what others said about it. Links to the portable digital tire inflator that you can plug straight to your car also is going to be in the description below. So make sure you go check that out as well. Links to my gaming channel as well are going to be in the description below, guys. You already know it, but there should be a subscribe button and also video button pop right here make sure you click on for more videos in the future but in that guys keep just share saying thanks for watching and peace